Hello friends. I am all cleaned up and I am ready to show you a tour of my craft room slash office slash what I like to call Grand Central Station. So I am going to show you a whole tour of my office and my craft room. I, not to toot my own horn, but the video that you hopefully watched yesterday, if not, it's right here. I gutted my entire shelf system. I took every single bin off of this shelf. That's three Ikea shelves. One, two, and three. Everything came off those shelves. Every bucket was gone through. So we're not gonna like chit chat much more. Everything is organized. I'm gonna show you what's in every single bucket. And then I'm, I'm gonna hurry real quick and show you around my room and give you a, a quick tour of the room itself. And then I'm gonna show you what's in every single bucket because my brothers make fun of me for all of my buckets. Oh, can I get a battery? Sure, here's the battery bucket. Hey, can I get a candle during an emergency? Sure, here's a candle during an emergency. I don't have storage, a lot of storage on our main floor. I don't have a basement for a storage room. I have a, a garage that is already packed with stuff. A lot of the stuff I have to use on a daily basis or even like every once in a while is stored in this room. It's not just craft products. It's also like home products. I have a kid. <laughs> Come on in. Okay, we're gonna take you on a tour of the room. <laughs> this girl was my helper yesterday. If you saw the behind the scenes. I woke up and then. She woke up and she was helping me right off the bat. And today, where are we going? School photos. School photos over at the park. So we're gonna hurry and get this filmed really quick so that we can go off and get our back to school photos. Let's show you around my craft room. All right, I'm gonna give you an overview of the entire room first. And we have Ashley here as a cameo. <laughs> She's texting her friend. This is what the whole room looks like. This AC unit will probably go away in a couple weeks, but it has to be in here for now. But here is the shelf system I was just telling you about. It's two Ikea bookcases and a third one on its side. We'll just start over here really quick. This is where everyone puts their backpacks at the end of school days. It's back to school time, finally. Like it's 2021, we are all going back to school. Everyone has their backpacks. Some of them are new and some of them are old and never got used because we didn't actually go back to school last year. So we've got like locker shelves that are ready to go. And let me show you the desk itself really quick. And then I will show you my cute, shelves that I've decorated up there. So over here on my desk, I have just this big pink box. I like it because I can just keep a lot of my books and kind of stuff that I don't use on a daily basis. Can we have a little moment for my notebooks? I decided to pull them all down here, especially the ones that aren't used. I mean, I don't know. It's like the little schoolgirl in me. I love a clean brand new notebook. Let me show you my notebooks really quick because it is a thing. This is a big part of my office. My notebooks are really important to me and I have gotten better at making them a little bit more organized and neat looking. I've added stickers. I'll show you the sticker books that I have. I use little stencils to make the boxes nice and neat, but notebooks are kind of my jam. I love to make a list. I love to check things off. I love to make grocery lists. My notebooks are kind of a big deal to me because I like things to be in categories. This notebook here is church. If I am listening to a talk or a conference for church on TV, we have them twice a year. I take notes and I color and I doodle. I retain information when I write things down. I can almost literally see the pictures that I've drawn or the style of list that I wrote if I write things down. And so I, that's why I have a separate one for different categories of life. Like this is one I just barely started and this is just for my scripture study, my Bible study. I want to be able to just write down my thoughts. And this one has a little pocket and it has a little talk that I read that I kind of took notes on and I just, I love notebooks. This notebook here is all for YouTube. I took a lot of notes when I was first starting. I get video ideas and I jot them down in here. I watch how to make my YouTube channel better, but everything is in here. So it's separate from like my daily lists, all four of these plus this one right here. So then why do I need one, two, three, four, five, six more 
unused ones and it's because I'm obsessed with them. Sometimes they have them at Marshalls and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they have really cute ones and other times they don't. And so I just get them when I see them because I'm obsessed with them. I never want to not be able to find one and have one ready for me. Then right here I got this new one from my friends. This is a little meal planner. I'm really trying to be better at meal planning, so I have that one st sticking up right here. This is a little book that I'm reading for church, along with a cute notebook that I got from my mom's funeral. Her neighbor gave all of us kids a little journal to write our thoughts and feelings about our mom in our journal, so we all have one like that. This is a cute little notebook that I have, just little side lists that I need to um, think about or whatever if it's outside of my regular notebook. I like to just kind of jot things down. Then right here I just have all of my pens. I have my Sharpies and highlighters in this one. Then I have like my little gel fine tip pens right here. And then these are my favorite kinds of pens. They are the Pilot G2 gel pens. And then here's all my stickers. I get the Paper Studio ones from Michael's and, oh no, no, Michael's doesn't have these ones. Hobby Lobby does. They're cheaper. They're $10, but then they're almost always 40 or 50% off, even if you can't do coupons anymore, whatever. I, you know, move past it, but they're always on sale. And so I now use stickers in my notebooks. You can see the stickers here. These ones are actually from the dollar store. I have these stickers here from the dollar store. So I'm kind of just collecting them, creating a spot for them here on my desk so that I can always just kind of grab my notebook of stickers, grab the notebook and create a new page. I'll show you the new page for, so I've created a new page. That one's cute. We have one more week and a half before summer is over. So I thought I would just do one more little summary page as we go into the school year. All right, then I have little secret pleasures back there. I only have junior mints when I have popcorn, but my kids like to eat them, so I have to hide them. That's not a very good hiding place, but they know not to eat those. Um, I got my pineapple cup in Hawaii in February when we went. I had $20 left in my budget from Hawaii money, so I bought this mug at Starbucks. I have my lotions, I have my rings right here. Um, I have a bouquet of flowers. They used to kind of go all over the house and I would just take them in and out of this bucket, but I really like this big bunch now, so they all stay here. This is my little caddy. I put uh, tape is up in the top up there. Uh, then I have, what else do I have in here? A little doodads from the kids when they make them or whatever. It does spin, but it gets caught on my flowers and I don't really need to like spin it a whole lot. Um, I just kind of keep things hanging on there and it's just kind of a good place to kind of put stuff right in front of me. I have a candle right here along with my scriptures to keep, remind me to read them. And then this is just real life. I always stack my receipts right here by my desk so that I can scan them into Fetch. If you want a referral code for Fetch to start earning points, I will put that across the screen. All right, moving around to my desk. I also need to get um, these adapters uh, labeled that they're mine. I need to pull out the label maker. They go with my new computer. I didn't even show that. My new computer I got um, from Jason uh, last week and I love it, love it, love it but it needs adapters because it doesn't have USB plugs. Apple knows how to get you to buy accessories, which is where they make most of their money. I get it. I also didn't show you my YouTube scheduling notebook. Um, I do videos five days a week if you are new, and I like to put the titles and the dates that they were filmed, and then I check off the list of everything that it takes to do a video. And it's even more than that, but that's the basic gist of it. So I keep that there. I keep my new computer here, my notebook. This is like literally how it is all the time. Everything revolves around this corner of the room for the most part. But this corner over here is kind of the kids corner. We print from over here. So they sit down here a lot and they'll color or work on projects for school or whatever. So this is kind of their corner. They have two buckets here, here of their stuff. I just tuck the printer cord down into their box. Really nothing fancy here. I have their caddy of pencils, colored markers, and pens and pencils. And then over here is Jason's section. I don't organize this. I don't worry about it. I keep it tucked into his little corner and it's up to him to take care of it. Let's get on to this shelf system. You guys, overview of everything. I have categories for everything, but the way I reset it up when I 
cleaned everything up. I have extra space because I got rid of buckets. I got rid of a lot of stuff. So I have room for books to keep me inspired to actually pull them out and read them. I love audiobooks now because they're so much more convenient. So I'm trying to inspire myself to pick up the hard copy books that I have and actually sit down to read them and relax. Boxes from, from our drone and from the drone cages, but they're white and they're nice and they kind of blend in up there. So that's all that is. Jason's stuff up, up here in this corner. This is his business stuff from the past that we kind of need to keep. And then a computer that is broken. The guts are broken, but they said that we can replace the guts. So we just keep the computer in case we ever need to do that. So Project Life was something that I had wanted to do from a couple years ago and I never have and I had used some birthday money from my mom to buy this kit but I just never took off with it because I stopped doing scrapbooking anyway and I just can't give my, get myself to like get rid of it because it's so cute. This bucket here has photos, mainly frames from photos that I have done in the past. I have wanted to keep the photos and the frames but just don't know what to do with them yet because I don't have a lot of shelf space here in this house. Moving down, we have my bucket of twine, my, my bucket of yarn, and a roll up of colored pencils. But in, in my twine bucket, you guessed it, twine. I have it all in one place. Then that's pretty self-explanatory about yarn. I like to have yarn, but I did eliminate my supply down to just one bucket. But I also have macrame. I want to work on a macrame project, but I didn't have anywhere to put it until recently. So maybe I'll be able to get this back out and do the macrame. All right, this one I find very funny. Ashley did my labels and she spelled label maker wrong. And I didn't, I don't have that heart to change it because I just think it's so ironic and so funny that she spelled label wrong. And so <laughs> I just kind of left it. It's a fun memory from when we were working together on this project yesterday. Pretty self-explanatory. I have my label in here. I have some office desk spray. I have a three hole puncher and I have their pencil sharpener. Sometimes on the, on the list on the outside, I don't say everything that's in the bucket. I just, I'm a picture, like I can see this in my head. Like I know what's in here, um, but I have new in ink cartridges that will go into that, replacements I should say. So this is an easy bucket to pull out the label maker and we'll just be okay with it being the wrong spelling. All right, the electronic bucket is not fancy. We can't get rid of cords like this because you never know when you need an HDMI cable. It comes in handy. This is like a backpacking solar power pack. So a lot of this stuff you don't really feel like you can get rid of. This is an old power cord from an old Apple computer, but they still have the same plug. So it comes in handy because it's just excess. And then over here is my um, portable mic that attaches to my camera. I need a, an adapter to put it on the camera I'm currently using. That's why I don't use it very often. All right, my fabric bucket I'm actually really proud of. This is a project I did a couple years ago where I took every ounce of fabric that I have and I took the little foam boards from the dollar store and I cut them all into the same sizes and you wrap the fabric around it and then you pin it. And because it's a foam board, it totally pins and doesn't go through, but it keeps it so organized. You guys, like, look at the side of this. How satisfying is that? <laughs> like, I put it in rainbow order. Yes, I did do that. I don't have a sewing machine right now, but this is all good fabric. I did get rid of some, but this is a really good way to store your fabric. Even if you were just going to put this on the shelf, it's obviously like very eye-catching and very appealing, so it doesn't look like a cluttered mess. Okay, I have a second fabric bucket and this one is more for big bulk fabric. I have like the big fluffy tool and then I have burlap. I also have like a really thick, I don't even know what this fabric, cotton fabric right here. I have a ton of it. It comes in handy um, like for Halloween costumes or banners that I make for birthdays or baby showers. All right, this bucket here is pretty heavy, so I'm not gonna lift it up, but it is notebooks and office supplies. I have a lot of notebooks from over the years. A lot of the times the teachers will say, 10 composition books, and they use one page. <laughs> so anyway, I have lots of folders. Um, Chelsea gets her, Chelsea and Ashley have gotten these from their reading teachers. They come in handy to have, and so I just have extra. I have page protectors here in case they have projects. So, and then I have clipboards in here as well. Grand Central Station, if you need an office supply, there's a good chance that I have got it here in this 
bucket. I also have my old couponing folders as well. Next up is a bin that I didn't even label because it just has boxes, routers, excess office supplies. You know, they don't. I don't like them to sit on the floor where they've been in the past. I just put them in a bin, tuck them away, keep them out of sight, but then we still have them if we need them. So these two bins are old scrapbooking bins that I had from my scrapbooking days. They've seen better days organized within it. So I keep them, but I'm wanting to get something different for this and for my washi tape and my twine right there. I saw a bucket at Hobby Lobby, I think, and I kind of think maybe I'm gonna get that to put all of that stuff in because it would just be more condensed and easier and I might get into this stuff more often. Packing tape. <laughs> Don't know why we had two packages of packing tape, but we own our own business and Jason does mail shoe boxes to our clients. So packing tape does come in handy for him quite often. And now we have a really large supply of packing tape. This bucket of punches, I kind of decreased a lot of them. I don't know, maybe two years ago, I kept an oval one. I, I like this one, it's a tag one. I use this one all the time. Then I have a corner punch and a decorated corner punch. That's all I have in here and I have decorative scissors that are in that bag right there. Um, and then I have a little stamper. You can change the letters, just have it spell out anything with what, eight characters? <laughs> so that's all that's in the punch bucket. I used to have a lot more. That's why I had a whole separate bucket for it. All right, I have a silhouette box and a laminator box that are different than a lot of the other ones because I needed it to be as big as possible. My silhouette one has all my vinyl in it. I have 12 by 12 pieces of vinyl and this big roll of the transfer tape, as well as some of the tools and extra blades that um, are used with the silhouette. And so I just like to keep it here in this bucket where they can lay flat and not get curled up. This one obviously rolls up, but I don't like these ones getting all rolled up. So I've got to figure out a new situation with my cameo, my silhouette. I didn't really talk about that over here. This is my silhouette. But the problem is that the software on my my old laptop is only on that one and I completely fried it when we were on vacation this summer. So if you know how to get software on a new computer when you've already registered for the software on an old one, let me know in the comments below because I don't know how to do that. The laminator, literally, laminator and, and pages. <laughs> I'm weird. I like to have things in compartments and my sister got me turned on to the idea of laminators. I used this a ton last year when the kids were in remote school. This came in quite handy. All right. These three bins right here are obviously different than the other ones as well. Um, this one has candles. We've got batteries and we got washi tape. I'm going to pull these ones out a ton. It's pretty self-explanatory. I get the candles from Ikea. We use these all the time, especially going into the holidays. I like to light all of my little houses. I do a little house display for Christmas. I use these all the time. And then they're also here for emergencies, like I said before. Batteries, I think I'm going to order a battery case because I think I lost a whole pack of batteries because they all sit next to each other in this bike bucket. And I've heard that that's not good for batteries. So I've got one in my Amazon shopping cart. Um, it's like 12 bucks. So I might replace everything and do batteries in a different box. And then my washi tape, I love washi tape. Abby uses this all the time. These four boxes make me happy because they're all the same and they're all photos. Um, I got a bunch of photos from my family, from my mom after she passed away. My sisters sorted through every photo my mom had and divvied them up. So I got all those that are super cool to have. And any photo I have printed out are in these buckets and eventually I'll deal with it. But I just like that they're all stored safely and they're not gonna get damaged. And then I can kind of pull them out when I figure out what to do with them. Maybe it's gonna be project life. Maybe that's what I'll do with them. I don't know. Office supplies. Let me show you this box. Back in the day, you used to be able to get like colored pens for like a penny a pack. So I stocked up on a lot of that stuff over the years. So I have a lot of Sharpies. I have a lot of red pencils, red pens. I mean, see that you used to be able to get these for a penny at Staples, I believe, when they would have their back to school sales. I would actually ship like 10 packages of these to my sister who is a teacher and uses red pants all the time. Um, I would get them for the penny deals and she would do it as well, but it lasted her a long time by doing it that way and it was super cheap. So anytime my kids need something, like school related pencils, pens, highlighters, they come to this bucket. There's really nice art 
colored pencils that I keep separate from like the regular ones. These are just pens that they've used in the past for school, but they're still good. They just aren't using them right now. But we also have uh, crayons. They are not requesting crayons now that Ashley is in third grade, but we have post-it notes and flashcards. So you name it, if the kids have a project or they need some school supplies, right Ashley? Yeah. They know where to go. This they, is so super cute. I just tell them, find the office supplies. We just need like two things from like stores and then just... Yeah, we, we were able to shop from here for a lot of her school supplies because I had so much extra. I didn't even have to buy pencils. Or a folder. Or a folder, because we just had it in our bucket and then in the other folder bucket down there. All right, I have two buckets of spray paint. They do take up a lot of room, but when you have these out and exposed, they stink so I like to keep them in buckets then it's easy to find a color we always use spray paint we're always DIYing something the girls love to do this kind of stuff now so I have a lot of colors um, they some of them are almost gone but I do like to keep them in Tupperwares versus in the garage because then it's easier for the kids to get to and myself I have a sewing bucket and I added some stuff to this right as I was finishing up cleaning last night but I'm not really happy with them being in here but it actually makes sense these are ornaments that I made years and years ago they're little quilt ball ornaments they're not finished which is why I put them back here in the sewing bucket but these are all the extra pieces of fabric I'll show you the fabric buckets that I have down there but I didn't have any more room well it, I did show you the one fabric bu bucket but these are like teeny tiny fabric squares like quilt squares and I just don't want to put them these are just too small to put in that big bucket but I do have a lot of my sewing supplies in here if we have a button that needs to get sewn on or something stitched up when I had a sewing machine, this was actually more relevant to use. Yeah, a scrunchie that lost I can its... fit like a baby's head. <laughs> the scrunchie lost its elastic, so all I need to do is get the elastic and feed it through there. Like I have a, a little jar of buttons if someone loses a button. These are decorative buttons that I did for like a Christmas ornament at one point, and then I kind of took them apart, and now I use them for actual regular sewing. Some might think that like I'm a little nuts that I subcategory so much, but it comes in handy because... I have fabric craft projects that I use on a regular basis, or maybe not regular, but I need to pull out like the little fabric banners for a birthday cake, for a birthday cake or a little flower that I can, or a little butterfly I can put on a wreath, or you know. You never know, but I, if I don't know where it's at, like I have not been able to find my 4th of July banners for the 4th of July because they were in the wrong bucket and I didn't, it didn't make sense where it was. So now all my fabric craft things are in this bucket and a lot of them are already done like these are banners that I did for their lemonade stand mm -hmm. or for a barbecue so it's fabric projects that are done and I can reuse for other like events and there's a few extra little pieces of the small fabric maybe that's what I can do with the other fabrics right there I can kind of shove them into a baggie I think if I did that it would condense it more I think I do have some room so that is not a bad idea to do with the fabric that I had in that last bucket all right, these are our paint supplies um, when they want to work on a paint project. No, 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 don't, don't pull that out. <laughs> it's, I don't want it to fall. I don't want everything else to collapse. Why is this stuff out? I had this all organized. Who got into this? Sorry, don't. Probably Abby and Kaylee. I just did down, this last night. Uh, Kaylee was down here. Are you serious? Like, I guess they were like painting something. Are you serious? I think they were doing something. What did they, like, what did they do? Put that back in here. Put this here. Ugh, so annoying. I just filmed being annoyed that my kids had gotten into this last night. I went to bed at 10 o'clock, but this is what happens. It's free reign. They can come and play with this stuff. They came down and did some kind of an art project last night and had made it kind of messy and I was kind of annoyed. I'm like, I didn't leave it like this yesterday. It's fine. It is what it is, but they have everything they need in here to go ahead and paint with. This has the smaller watercolor, like the little kid kinds. So careful, I don't want it to fall apart. I got it to all fit yesterday. But it has like those, we just need to finish using it up. Um, it just has like the acrylic paint for the little kids that came in like the little kit. Um, I just need to finish using it up and then we can get rid of all of that. Also, I am close to needing to replace almost every single bottle. Also, tip store it upside down you can see all like because then you can see the color and you can also have it right available at the end and make sure you use up every ounce of it ribbon again self-explanatory but like i in organizing everything i got all of these pieces of string put back into this ribbon bucket because i could not find these the kids were working on little bracelets and i could not find this string yeah. and so i finally got it put back into the ribbon bucket 
So this is another one of those boxes. It just has our old router and the box that the new router came in. All right, some might say it doesn't make sense to have craft supplies and craft tools in two separate buckets. These are the most used boxes in the entire room. So let me show you why I have two separate buckets. And this one bucket right here is almost half the reason why I organized the craft room to begin with. Craft tools are literally the tools needed to work on the projects. We have glue guns, we have hot glue, we have the hole puncher. Like this could go in the punch bucket, but I use it all the time when I'm working on craft, craft projects. So I just keep it in here. So I keep all of this stuff in this bucket because I got this little case from the dollar store and it's for that other string that you saw in the sewing bucket but it works really perfect for little bits and baubles like all the the hanging nails for hanging pictures and for what oh yeah it was Kaylee's snack bucket we use them for plain snacks um, when they were little these little kits are perfect for putting tools in and then underneath it it's perfect because I can still have other craft tools like some wire and this double sided tape. I have more nails for the nail gun. It's just easy to have the tools all in one place. Like I have sanding blocks right here. So this is different than craft supplies. Let me show you why. Craft supplies are like this, where there are little kits that I get from the dollar store to decorate with, or clothes pins that I can work on projects with. These are the bars that I'm going to use for my macrame. I just haven't done that project yet. Thankful signs. I did a Thanksgiving sign with this, but then I was just able to pull it off and I can reuse it for another project, but I don't want it to get damaged. So I just put it back in this bucket. Um, I have lots of baby shower um, banners like you've seen because I used to host showers all the time. Look, they're little umbrellas. Like how cute is that? That's what's in this bucket and the why it's different than the, the tool. Speaking of craft supplies, I kind of treated myself to this little package. This is a garland that I'm going to make for my mantle. And I told myself I couldn't do this this project until I got all of this done. So now that that's done, I can actually sit down with some twine or some string and make myself a cute garland. Maybe it'll even be enough pieces to make two garlands. I think that would be really cute on my mantle. But this is the kind of stuff, if I don't use up all of these, that's what's going to go back into this bucket. And if you watched my daily video yesterday, Target did it. They got their fall stuff in their dollar spot and I'm a sucker. Like these are gonna be perfect for tables. I have a little uh, tray on my table and they're the perfect size. I worked really hard yesterday. <laughs> I just needed to treat myself to a cute little project to work on now that everything is cleaned up. If you don't put your nail polish in a bucket, you need to start. Because already, just from opening the lid, I can smell the nail polish. I have all our nail, po nail polish in here. I have my gel kit light right here. If we need to do a nails, yeah. that one, is it spill? Yeah, so, spilled. well, then it's contained in a container, not underneath the bathroom sink or in a bathroom drawer. So we're going <laughs> to, she's holding your nose. Okay. It smells really strong. I have nail files in here as well. I have the cord to plug this in. I have the nail polish remover. Usually I have cotton balls in here, but I don't have any more left. But then you can put the lid back on and it doesn't stink anymore. Right, Ashley? Yeah. All right. Next up are kids crafts. I have two different buckets. This one has bits and bobbles for the kids to do projects with. The letter beads. We're going to make little keychains for the kids to go back to school with. I think that'll be really cute. So they can pull this bucket out anytime and work on little pro craft projects. And technically this could be in that bucket as well. But it is specific to this project right here. It's just these beads. You put them on the little board and then you melt it down and then they turn into these little projects. But we have seen that you can use these to make bracelets out of as well. If you lay them on the tray face up like this, so they're like tall like that, and then you melt it in the oven, then they melt flat and they keep the hole and then it turns into a different sh bead shape. So we just found a new way to use a lot of these beads, get more use out of them. All right, so this kit is specific to our diamond art, our diamond painting. These are the ones that we have done in the past. I need to figure out how I can frame them um, in order to put them up on our travel wall. I think that would be really cool to be able to display them because they're so pretty. But these are the supplies that you use for the, the diamond painting. We have so many of these little tools that you use. This is the little waxy gel stuff that goes into those. And then these are the trays that you put the beads in. All right, the next bucket is cards. Thank you cards, birthday cards, 
old envelopes that don't, you know, have a card with it, but you can use the envelope. If I need to send a thank you card or find a birthday card or an envelope, I can look right here. And that is our last bucket. As I sit down to film like a little say goodbye to you, I realize I didn't show you what's on my little decorated shelves up here. Let me do that really quick and then I'll say goodbye. So this shelf literally depicts my dilemma between decorating for Hawaii or decorating farmhouse <laughs> style. <laughs> like my mind can't make itself up. And so when I'm here in my office, I do both. I love, and this is the style that's out in the reg in the rest of the house. I do houses, I've added a lot of black. I love the metal look with the black. I love brown as the wood, and I like the clean lines with the white. So this is literally like how I like to style the rest of the house, but this is where my heart is. <laughs> I love Hawaii. Like if you are new to my channel, go watch the Maui videos and you'll understand my love for Hawaii. I'll put a link right here. I got this at the store in Lahaina when we went last time. I am in love with this store. It's Coco Nene. It's just, I, I'm gonna go back. We're going back in October and I'm going back to this store. I, I spent way too much money at this store and I still have not put a picture in this frame. That's okay, I'm going to get one, but I love everything Hawaii. Um, there's a picture of our family and a cute little pineapple sign. Those are my old notebooks that I have used in the past. They are all done. Um, there's two more down here that didn't fit in the bucket. It's kind of like my journal. Uh, so I keep them and that's why I like them to all be the same. When I guess it's my way of something that I collect, but I like to have things universal and like the same. And so that's why I'm kind of obsessed with having, making sure that I have those notebooks all the time and having extras because I want to make sure I have them. So that's why I have a lot of extras because I keep the ones that I've used. It's kind of a depiction of what my life has been like. It's a little mini type of journal. All right, on this side, again, it's more the black, white, brown scheme. I redecorated this maybe a year, year and a half ago, and I like the clean lines of the white and the black and the brown, the warmth of the flowers. This is our engagement photo album right here. It's filled with all photos from our actual engagement. I had braces at the time, it was really awkward. It is what it is. And that is a picture of a poppy from my neighbor's yard back at home. That's from my friend Kathy. She's my my doorstep buddy. Um, I think I've talked about her a lot in videos, um, grieving for my mom. Um, my mom passed away two months ago, um, and Kathy lives next door to my mom. They're this, roughly the same age, um, but Kathy is like a second mom to me and lost her daughter, my one of my good friends from growing up eight years ago. And that poppy <coughs> was my friend Anne's favorite flower, and it bloomed right after, maybe a year after the funeral. But. Um, so I keep that there in honor of my friend Anne and also to remind me of my love for Kathy. She's a very special person in my life. And I get quiet because I, um, I don't want to get choked up. I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> I don't want to cry. All right, you guys, that is it. That is my craft room tour. It feels so good to have it clean, organized. This is where I sit and I do my editing on my computer and I make these videos and where I schedule appointments and I call people and I sit in here and talk all the time and Jason comes in here now and is comfortable to work at his desk and we talk and we study this, you know, in the scriptures and we study and we talk about life and this is where everything happens and if you don't have a space like that, that's okay. Okay, so I hope that this was an inspiration for you to maybe just organize one small section of your house. Maybe you have a dream room like this, but you've never organized it. Let me know in the comments below if you are wanting to do a project like this, but you just know it's overwhelming. And believe me, after the day, after the day I had yesterday, it is overwhelming. It took me 12 hours. I was exhausted. It does take a lot of work. I maintain it, I keep it neat and orderly, but eventually it turns into what it turned into. But I appreciate you coming for this video. If you have not seen how I got it to this place, I will leave a link to my other craft tours, but also the organization video I just did and get this place all put back together. I hope you stick around and watch our channel. I'm not just about organizing and I'm not just about craft projects. We do everything, I'm all encompassing here on our channel. I create, Dana Creates is literally the name of our channel. We create daily lifestyle videos, we create daily craft projects, and we create daily organization. That is literally the whole purpose of my channel. So hopefully you wanna stick around for that, and if you do, we'll see you later. Have a good day.